The Bishop of Burnley invited a group of Muslim leaders into his home over Easter to build interfaith relations between the local Christian and Muslim communities. It's thought to be the first time a bishop in Lancashire has invited a group of imams into his home. The project aims to improve differences and reduce Islamophobia in Burnley and its neighbouring cities, as Hena Soni now reports. Islamophobia and segregation were just the sum of the topics of discussion at a reverend's home when he invited a group of Muslim leaders over for a meal and a community bond. I don't think there's ever been a more important time for people of different faith communities to get on with each other and form friendships. You know, around the world we see all sorts of terrible things being done in the name of religion, the attacks in Paris and Brussels, and often faith itself blamed for that sort of thing. Um, locally we see communities which are often too segregated, where the relationships on the ground just aren't happening. So what we're trying to do was by me inviting uh, uh, representatives of the Muslim community from Burnley to my home, was to try and model what we'd like to see at the local level, Christians and Muslims simply being friends, getting on with each other, talking about the things that matter, but doing so in the context of hospitality and mutual love. Approximately 20 imams and priests from around Burnley came along for a discussion over afternoon tea. For some of the Muslim leaders, it was a historical moment to be invited inside a bishop's home for the first time. We shared our concerns, our hopes and aspirations for the community coalitions in Burnley, as well as agreeing to meet again in a smaller group where we can set up strategies to work for a better Burnley, creating understanding between different faiths and ensuring that we do not go back to 2001 uh, when we had the serious disturbances in Burnley. As part of the meeting, we express our concerns uh, due to those attacks in foreign lands. We have the rise of Islamophobic uh, attacks in Burnley, as well as other cities. Muzakir says the Muslim community is extremely grateful for the bishop to make the gesture of goodwill at a time where support is most needed. I think, in general, people of faith must talk to each other. I think that's absolutely essential. And must do so with absolute honesty. You know, as I said in that meeting, there are differences between me and the Muslim community. We believe totally different things about faith and life. But if you're honest about that, friendship can absolutely flourish. And I think that's essential in every single corner of this country. The community aims to inspire neighbouring cities to start similar projects and improve religious differences. I think we're setting an example in Burnley that can be uh, taken up uh, in other towns and I'm, I'm sure what's the bishop is very keen to work with Muslim community and so are Muslims keen, uh, keen to work with him. And we're setting examples here where other bishops and other Muslim communities in, in the UK can take examples and do the same. Because very often the complicated problems have simple solutions. And what seems to be a big, complex issue around how different cultures and religions get on with each other often has a simple solution, which is day-to-day -day friendship. People knowing their neighbours, stretching out a hand across these sort of invisible barriers and just getting to know each other. Um, as a diocese, you can see from the banner behind me, we've launched a, a, a new vision looking forward to the next 10 years of our diocese. And that's all about the transformation of communities, making a difference to people's lives. So this kind of relationship building really fits in with where we're going as a family of churches in Lancashire. Hena Sony, that's Lancashire.